Hello, and welcome to my tutorial on Sky something something. I forget what they call it, just Sky something. Anyway, I've been playing this game for a while, and i kind of gone through the first stage of it, and I really wanted a little bit more of a guide, so but I couldn't find one, so I figured I'd make one. Um, this is homepage. Uh, when you come in, these are different things that you can wear. Um, what's frustrating is a lot of the stuff that you can wear, you have to buy, like with money. And I haven't quite uh, bought anything yet. I love the game. I think I will buy something just to support the game. But for the most part, uh, yeah. Anyway, this is how you change between different outfits if you have a different outfit you can buy it takes a lot to save up and get these different outfits so they really encourage you to buy stuff um yeah uh now i'm going around collecting or li lighting all of these candles to help spread the light of the world <laughs> it's kind of how they they describe it it uh you basically earn candles by doing that. Uh, this is also if you tap yourself, uh, your figure, you make noises. And if you hold the tap, it uh, sends out a bigger noise. It makes you jump in a circle. Um, so going around collecting all of these little pieces of light, basically that's your currency. So you can buy those different things um, to, to update and change your character. Um, here i'm making a connection but it's not quite a friend yet i'll show you how to make a friend later uh, i'm going to just jump into oh here let me show you a quick overview these are all the different um reactions that people uh, that i've collected so far and the, my favorite one is the sitting one because you can there's so all these different ways you can sit um, what's weird about these other actions is uh, you're supposed to be able to do more than one of these actions and I couldn't quite I can't quite figure out how to change between um, each action um, that you should be able to do uh, but yeah I'm just going through each action for you here to show you what's possible and I don't know if there's a purpose to these actions except for maybe one day being able to communicate with other players with them uh, they're just weird interesting things to collect i'm hoping that they become useful in the future there's a few places where i think some of them might be useful but i haven't um, been able to apply them because it it's it's a challenge to jump into those oh yeah when you tap yourself you also it shows on the screen where everyone else is that is playing with you in the game thus far um yeah Oh, and I forgot to show you in this video, but if you look above, you'll see the sky and the stars, and you're trying to collect, basically, figures that live in the stars. And welcome to the first level of the game. I'm going to skip a lot of the tutorial or of these scenes because they're worth watching by yourself, and this isn't a, like a complete playthrough. This is just like a overview of what I found and advice on different things. So, I'm trying to... Yeah, these walls are supposed to show you the story of the game. And, uh, they're falling stars. They fall from the sky. Oh, I hit a wall. So, what's nice about the plague the game is that you won't, you can't fall off a ledge unless you jump. So you have to tap the right side of the, the screen to jump. Uh, these glowing things allow you to they, you basically collect these wings, and they give you more flight time. So I just collect my first one, because, well, I originally played all the way through this game and then died at the end. Um, and I think that was supposed to be the gameplay. Or I think I was supposed to have multiple friends and we were all supposed to hold hands together to make it through that one section. And um, I didn't have enough friends to do that. So, yeah, here we are learning how to fly all over again. Oh, 
So you have these butterflies that fly around. And what's really cool is they will come to you, but you can also um, have like raise your hand and they'll come flying to your hand, which is really cool. Yeah. Although, yeah. They'll, the butterflies will regenerate you, but they aren't in every level, sadly. So I'm gonna collect some of these lights. There's a, oh look, there's a potential buddy. Oh, never mind. These people, I don't think they know how to be friends. <laughs> I don't know how to be friends on this thing. It's weird to communicate. You try to communicate on this thing and uh, you can't like, Anyway, there, I'll show you that in another video. So now, I, because I've ran out of um, flight, I've been trying to call a butterfly, but they seem to not be coming to me up here. So I think I'm gonna have to go to them. Uh, let's look for a butterfly. Oh, there they are. So I'll just jump off this edge, fall down to the butterflies. And now I have to make my way back up there. Walk back up. I'm gonna just come and jump to that. All right, let's do a flight. So we're gonna try to fly all the way over to the other launch pad. Now, I haven't really explored this section completely. I think I will come back after I've collected a few more flight wings or whatever you call those things. Um, I'll come over and explore this cave though see if there's anything useful in it. Hmm. Not really. Nothing, nothing to see here for now. There might be something special here later. That looks like there's a person over there. But we don't need a person right now. Oh! Uh, uh, side note, if you pull out your candle and when you make a connection with someone, you're also warming them up and resetting their flight code. I have no idea what the kid's doing there. That was really cool. He must have, he must be at a level, higher level than I am. Anyway, so right now I'm trying to recharge by sharing candlelight and voila. Okay, cool. They finally um, were agreeable and then all of a sudden they disappeared. I don't know where they went. I was going to see if they wanted to be friends, but oh well. All right, that's cool that they have butterflies here. So I can get that right back as soon as I jump up. Cool, cool, cool. All right, and we're coming up to the flight zone. I can collect this other wing here. It's gonna raise my wing just a little bit, but uh, it gets harder and harder to raise your level of wings and throughout the game but uh, let's see if i can skip this uh it's pretty cool i'll let it play through for the moment okay so you hold yourself to send out a huge sound that's what it's teaching you here but i've already taught you or talked to you about that so far uh, and then you push and fly and there we go i'm gonna fast forward this part So as you fly, um, you control your right and left by um, your left hand, your left thumb. You just kind of twist it back and forth, right and left, up and down. Um, up goes up, down goes down. Um, yeah. And then the right thumb controls your like where your camera is viewing, if you're seeing your subject from the front or the back. Um, we're going to jump into here. And it introduces you to the uh, the room. I'm gonna collect these light, and as I collect the light, oh, there's two things right there. You need a friend to help you open the door. So this, oh man, it threw me into a unskippable slide or story, whatever you call this. Oh, it looks like someone just opened the door already. Two guys already opened it for us. 
Okay, well, you'll have to uh, figure that out on your own. There's a lot of teamwork. Well, I wouldn't say a lot, but there is a decent amount of teamwork in this game. Oh, you know, I should have jumped off the edge here, if I could, just to see what's there. Um, all right, so it's encouraging us to sit down and watch a cut. What, what do game players call this? Like a cut scene? Anyway, we're gonna skip the cut scene because you can watch it on your own. And now we are on our way to the end of level one. And if you guys found this useful, definitely like give me a thumbs up and tell me what you want to know and I'll do my best if I already know it I'll let you know if I don't know it then we'll learn it together and you let me know in the comments or something yeah let's have a conversation about that um, I'm gonna cut to the end here okay we're coming to the end of level one I'm coming in for a landing. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention the clouds help you regenerate, but they teach you that in the game. It's really simple. I'm trying to give you tips on things that they don't actually tell you in the game, or I don't... They probably t tell you in the game, but I didn't catch it when I watched it through. Because a lot... Oh, uh, yeah. So we're coming back down. This is the end of level one. And we've just jumped into basically level two. Uh, this is a spirit that I've found in the game thus far. You'll find him later or anyway. And each spirit teaches you a different skill. Uh, for some reason, I'm, my camera's in the wrong view to show you this. Okay, here we go. So this is uh, an action that the spirit teaches you. It's like a pointing action. I'm going to unlock the next action of the pointing action. And at the same time, people are trying to be friends with me. I'm, that's too bad. I didn't see that until right now. Um, or were they? Oh no, no, it's me trying to learn the skill. That's what that is. Okay, cool. And now I have a second action to my pointing how do i get to it though oh there's a there's a little dot above so if i hold oh okay so you hold down um and it changes the action to the second action that you've learned that's related to the first action okay cool and that's how that's done um there's a lot of people in this part of the game i wish there was an easier way to communicate i'll show you in the next video on how the game's designed to communicate and right now it's broken at least as i've played through it oh i'm trying to be friends with this person um but they're not accepting my friend request which is weird because if they accept it then they get my candle and that's cool in fact is this how you collect hearts now that's one of the things that i've been still trying to figure out is how does one collect hearts and i wonder if it's by being coming friends with people i'm gonna have to experiment with that and let you know experiment test how do you define how, what do you call the different terms anyway i'm um, coming to the end thank you so much for watching guys subscribe if you'd like to watch my other videos cheers